If you guys have not done this, I am begging you to please do this now. Please do this now. Hello, so today I wanna to talk about the attack on the Ukraine with Russia invading them and how it's going to affect us, if it's going to affect us. I know that a lot of people just wanna bury their head in the sand and say that nothing is gonna happen and it's just all crazy and that's fine. Go ahead and bury your head in the sand. It's all right, just turn off this video, I'm okay with that. But Putin has already threatened that there are gonna be consequences if anyone intervenes in this. And guys, this man is not messing around. He's nuts. And he is gonna do everything that he can to just take over. And if he feels that he's being threatened, there's no reason why he shouldn't unleash his buddies on whatever country he decides and start doing cyber attacks. And I think the United States would probably be the first one. So I just, if you guys have not done this, I am begging you to please do this now. Please do this now. Get at least three weeks worth of food that you don't have to cook so that if there is a cyber attack and we have no power, we have no water, we have no gas, we can't get gas for our cars, we can't get food at the grocery store. If a cyber attack happens, guys, all of that's gonna be shut down. Three weeks worth of food, at least, if you can. What does that mean? Granola bars, I mean, even Pop-Tarts, <laughs> you know, crackers, canned meats, your tuna, your beef, your chicken, your canned soups, like your chilies. You don't have to heat up chili to eat it out of a can. You can eat it just fine out of the can. Anything that you don't have to heat up, have at least three weeks worth of food. And you might say, well, Tara, how in the world am I supposed to get three weeks worth of food for each person? It's not as much as you think. Most Americans eat way more food than they actually need to. So just look on the back of your package. One can of chicken is usually about three to four servings. So you'll know right there's one meal for a family of four. You don't have to have a full serving of chicken for every meal for a person, okay? I mean, it's nice, but it would keep you alive. The same thing with crackers, cereal, anything like that that you don't have to cook. Ramen noodles that you could just eat like crackers. I'll link a video mom and I did in the description below for more ideas on what to do for food. Next. Mom and I were talking about this again in another video. Blackout is imminent. <laughs> you, I have two family members in the IT world and they, they both keep saying, we have no idea how on the edge our grid is and how susceptible to one of these attacks our grid is. Listen, what's the worst that'll happen? You go out and buy three or four weeks worth of food and then nothing happens, okay? So you just eat it with your normal meals. But if something does happen, then at least you don't have to worry about taking care of yourself. You're in a position to help others if you need to. The way to not be afraid of these things is to be prepared. You be prepared with your essentials for your home so that you can stay home and take care of yourself. That way, when something happens, at least you know you can take care of yourself. After the food, I would get cash and make sure you have some cash and small bills around in case you need to buy something. I would never let your car gas go below a half a tank. If possible, get three or four gas cans filled with gas to keep on hand also. But guys, I was watching videos of people from the Ukraine and there was lines and lines and lines of people waiting to fill up their cars with gas. Don't let your gas get down to empty because if you need to leave for some reason or another or if you need to go to the hospital or something because somebody, you know, has a heart attack or whatever, you can get there without worrying about having to get gas. Not to mention, you probably won't be able to just buy it anyway because all the gas stations are computerized. So you probably won't even be able to get it to pump anyway, even if you wanted to. The other thing is, even though we're going into March, there are still places in the United States, like here in Wyoming, where we're gonna have cold weather, so make sure you have blankets, 
sleeping bag, something to keep you warm if you have no power. And a rocket stove, I would get a rocket stove. I love rocket stoves because you can use any kind of fuel, cardboard, twigs, leaves, anything in that little stove and it will heat up really super hot in a concentrated area so that later on, if you need to boil water, need to cook food, you can do it. And last but not least, I don't know if I said that with the rock stove, but last but not least, make sure that you have some way to purify water, either with a rocket stove and boiling it, or with water purification tablets, or with some sort of water filtration system. You can get a big system like my DIY Berkey. I'll leave a link up here for you guys to see that, how I made that, or with something small, portable, like one of these little straws that you use to just drink straight from the water, and it will give you pure water so that you don't have to worry about getting sick from drinking the water. Then still with the water, make sure you have one gallon per person for at least three days on hand in your home. I would do more if you can, but no less than one gallon bottled water, whatever. I just put it in soda bottles, but you can just, however you want to do it, get you at least three gallons per person for three days. Okay. And guys, here's the thing. You do not have to be afraid. I would say above all of this, you need to make sure that you are right with God. And we've been talking about this and talking about this, but guys, this is all playing out just like the Bible said. It's Matthew 24, wars and rumors of wars. It's Ezekiel 38, where Russia, the north, Gog is what it's called in the Bible. But if you study any Bible prophecy at all, Amir Safante is a great guy to go listen to verses on Bible prophecy. It is all coming to life before our eyes. These things written hundreds of years ago are all coming to life. And if you guys think Putin is stopping at the Ukraine, I think, really, he's not going to stop with the Ukraine. He is crazy. And the reason why he's crazy is because God's allowing him to be that way to fulfill Bible prophecy. It is all coming true. If you need a Bible, please, the link is in the description below. We are happy to send you a free Bible. If you can afford one, please buy it. It's just the cost of the Bible and shipping. But that way we can give more free Bibles to other people. We are giving away more free Bibles now than we are selling our cookbooks. That is great. And we are happy to do that. But guys, you need to get right with God before anything else. That's how you don't be afraid. That's how you can have peace and not be afraid by getting your life right with God and doing what you can to prepare. I totally understand not everyone can prepare in the same way different circumstances, different amounts of money you have. But you know what, guys? If you're going and buying the soda pop and you're complaining about rising prices, you need to put the soda pop back and go buy you some canned foods to have at home instead. That could get you through a full day's worth of meals. One 12 pack of soda could feed a family of four for an entire day's worth of meals. It's not gonna be a meal of luxury, but it could get you canned chicken and some crackers and some fruit and get you through for that day. Stop complaining about rising prices. It's really not that bad. I got a video. I went yesterday and shot it at the grocery store that I'm going to, to film that I was putting together to show you how the prices really aren't as bad as what everybody keeps saying they are. And so go stock up now, please. I am begging you. Do this. The worst that'll happen, you'll just eat it if nothing happens. But if something does happen, you are prepared. And it's really interesting because, you know, people say, oh, is this the tribulation that's talked about in Revelation the Bible? No, it's not. It might be the starting of things that lead up to that, but it's not the tribulation yet. And it's very interesting because it says that before Christ comes, there's going to be wars, rumors of wars. There's going to be buying and selling and marrying as in the days of Noah and Lot. Well, what was happening in the days of Noah? People were buying and people were selling. So I think that if that's 
what the Bible is saying, there's still going to be an economy to keep going along. But that doesn't mean that there aren't going to be things that happen in between that you will need to take care of yourself. Even though I think this is pretty cool watching Bible prophecy happen straight before our eyes. I mean, it's just literally all happening right before our eyes. You don't need to be afraid, but you do need to be ready to take care of yourself. So please go out and get those. I have a practical stockpile ebook cookbook for free in the description below that shows you how to cook with canned foods and how to buy $5 a week for canned foods. I'd do it a little bit quicker than that if I were you, just to make sure. Please go watch my blackout is imminent video to tell you how to deal with a blackout if you lose power. Visit us at livingonadime.com. If you want a free Bible, click on the shop and we will be happy to send you one. We will see you guys next time.